I'm Matthew Gomes. I'm 32. I'm a fourth generation Portuguese American. My great grandfather was from Gustine. He moved to Tulare with my grandmother, had two kids, one of which was my father. We're currently on our way to Tulare, California to uh, start the process of cleaning my grandfather's house that my aunt neglected. And I know it's a documentary, and we're just in the beginning of it right now, and we're just getting our drive on. But I promise you guys, when you watch this, and you get to the next stage of the video, you're going to be completely shocked. Mm -hmm. My chicken. What the fuck is this? I don't want to know what that is. We started in November, I think, right? Really hammering down and, and getting to this. I think for the most part, I underestimated how much trash was actually in this house. Can we save the property from a financial perspective? Like, is this house salvageable? Uh, which, of course, all good things come in time, and you know, nothing worth having ever came without hard work. So that's what it means. You know, I'll be able to leave my mark on the house. We've done a really good job of putting a dent in the house. Like I said, we've removed over 8,000 pounds of trash. Getting all this trash mucked out of here and getting all the green waste up and all the overgrown weeds has really turned out to be a big pain in the ass. Since about October-ish, 2021 to now, I've been going pretty ham. And just no help, it's, it's a bitch. <laughs> it's a... It's a a lot of work, strenuous labor. So it does mean a lot to me because, you know, it's my dad's legacy and my grandpa's legacy. So it does mean a lot to me, you know. I grew up in this house uh, as a child, had all my Easter's here, all my Christmases here, all my birthdays, you know. I have literally found toys from when I was a kid here, uh, baby photos of me, all sorts of things, you know. Do we look alike? This is my grandpa. His name is David Gomes, Sr. My grandpa was cool. He was a cool guy. He would be pissed if he knew his fucking house was like this right now. And, you know, sometimes it's only me and Aaron here, and sometimes it's us four here, and sometimes it's just me here. But once I get into the construction phase of it, it won't take that long, you know, because painting walls isn't difficult. Getting it clean isn't really difficult. It's just that I'm doing it by myself. Like, my aunt died in September, so with her passed away, I could really, like, come in. But before, I was just doing lots of stuff, bouncing around in between the house, going to work, having my girlfriend, hanging out with you guys. So... Oh, wow. So now, it's getting to the point to where I'm actually going to be able to start kind of going through, like, specific things that we've uh, kind of filtered. And then once that's done, um, I will actually start to reconstruct the home. So I'm going to keep these cabinets. We're going to keep the cabinets because walnut cabinets are really expensive. So this is kind of like a, a blessing and a curse at the same time. It's going to take a little bit of elbow grease to, to make them nice again. But when I'm done, they should be really pretty. So I'm going to keep the cabinets, do a black granite top a nice big black splash and then that's basically it past uh, the general demo stage of picking up all of that trash, so I don't know if you want to go look in there right now and see it, but we ripped to studs the, the dirty gross bathroom. Um, I got the kitchen all sanded, um, and I'm at, you know, buying materials now, so I'm probably say about 65-70% done. And the steps, just long nights, really long nights. 
I mean, like sometimes 12 hours, 10 hours, and just little micro goals, just trying to chip away at the whole general thing. I got the drywall, got the new tub, got the hardy backer to make it waterproof. Just needs new sink and new lighting, and just get the tile. And after that, I've pretty much got all my supplies. And once we get that done and that all sorted out, then I'll be able to really kick it up into gear and go into a reconstruction mode. Cleaning the walls, sanitizing, painting interiorly first, uh, addressing the water pipe issues, uh, things like that. Once I do all the things that I can do, then I'll start to contract out all the things that I cannot do that need to be done in a professional format, you know, not just your, your, your daily, you know, do, do it yourself sort of a method. left over from our glass findings amongst the grass and trash uh, and that's about it really and other than that the grass has grown back I guess I just got these wood piles to burn but any more chickens yeah no you just missed them the chickens are still here you want to see something really sad I found my father's eulogy that I wrote when I was 10 years old laminated right who would have known which I don't know if you remember last time, but this was horrible. This whole area. Was it just, was. It's just brutal. This this took a good effort to get out. But um You literally couldn't walk right here. No. Nope. Like you literally couldn't they walk could not. here like this. Yeah, no. I'm almost done. I'm gonna hire a landscaper for like 300 bucks and he's gonna come back here and clear all this out. It's good now though, slowly but surely. Like, it's just taken a little bit of time to get to this point, but you know, this is ideal. All the trash is gone. That's all that matters, you know. This is just kind of where, this is what I've done. Me a long way to come here just by myself, you know, on the weekends. Oh my fucking lord. This is hilarious. Look at this. This is my dad when he was a kid. This is 1952. December 25th, 1952. He's three years old. My dad's three years old in this. So this is a 70 year old picture. This picture's two times as old as I am. Yeah, so um, I remember when we were first doing interviews talking about finding my dad's war letters. And I found them. Um, which was really exciting because I've always, you know, I've never read them. I've never even seen them until recently when I found them. I've always known about them. And I was kind of worried they might have been, you know, ruined. But luckily, I found them, like, way at the deep of a photo box. Um, and it was a small white USPS box that had those old albums in it. And, you know, it doesn't, I wasn't really too worried about what was written in it. More so as in actually just finding them and having them in my physical possession. But it was cool to read back on it and see what he was doing. You know, basically... Basic stuff, don't worry about me. Send this, send that, send supplies, basically. Um, so yeah, this is a plus. There's a lot of closure in this. Uh, made it all worth it.